So if you own a 2014 to 2018 GMC Sierra or Chevrolet Silverado, there's a vent under the seat that supplies heat and cold air to the rear passengers. But a lot of times it's either under the carpet or halfway under the carpet. Um, so I designed this little deflector that slides over the duct and I don't know if you can kind of tell how that how that's working there but so there's where the back is and it just slides over the duct then you see the angle how it deflects the air up this is a 20 degree angle and uh, uh, I've 3D printed one and we're getting ready to go out and try it for the first time and if it works good I'm going to upload the STL file uh, to Thingiverse and you'll be I'll put a link and you'll be able to go there and download it and if you have a 3D printer you can print you one of these off and uh, that way you slide it on that duct it'll deflect the air upwards keep the carpet underneath it so that all the air can actually be uh, diverted to the rear passenger compartment so let's go up to the truck and uh, we'll see how this thing's going to work okay so here we are at the truck uh, might have, let me go grab a light Okay, so here we are under the seat, and that's the duct I'm talking about. You can tell that, you know, the carpet's kind of covering it up, and all of them do it. Sometimes this is actually completely under the carpet. Um, so what this little adapter does, let me see if I'll be able to get it on with one hand. go whoops so that little adapter just slides on and deflects the air upward keeps the carpet underneath it and deflects the air upward so yeah I'll just uh, I'm gonna upload these uh, or the uh, STL file to Thingiverse. It's a website that uh, people who create stuff with um, uh, for 3D printing uh, up uploads stuff, and you can download it for free. And if you got a 3D printer, print you off two of them. One will go under each seat, uh, and you'll be able to keep your rear passengers a little cooler or uh, have the heat uh, blow back here so I'll post a link in the description to Thingiverse and you can download them and print them if you don't have a 3d printer um, these take for the settings that I used it took about five hours to print one you need two one for each side if uh, if you need me to print them, I'd have to charge you, you know, twenty or twenty-five dollars to print two of them and then ship them to you. But I, I'd be willing to do that if uh, you know if you guys don't have a three D printer and you don't have any other way of uh, getting these. Otherwise, get the STL file and find someone with a three D printer and have them print print them off for you. Okay, here's the one for the uh, passenger side. This is what it looks like. And let's see if we can get it on here. There we go. Now I kind of Whoops, that side popped off. 
I've tapered the end of this to help to kind of help get it on. There we go. And so you can kind of you can kind of cock it a little bit left and right. I like to kind of aim it just a little bit toward the uh, you know toward the inside of the vehicle. The passenger side is just a little bit longer than the uh, driver's side. But that's what it looks like when it's installed. The carpet obviously is nice and uh, tucked up underneath it. And it allows the air to blow, you know, toward the uh, toward the legs of the person sitting in the back seat. Anyway, I'll, like I said, I'll put the link in the description so you can go and download the STL file and print these. Um, I guess that's it.